Welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. In this video, we're going to talk about wire because this is something that uh, there's been a lot of confusion and a lot of questions being asked. And it doesn't seem like we're getting any closer to people understanding what's what here. And um, we're going to start out with this. This is the old green wire. If you've got a, an automower and a dealer is trying to sell you green wire, just back away. Husqvarna discontinued this uh, two years ago now. And uh, the reason was that every now and then you would have areas where it would start to corrode inside the insulation. It just it couldn't handle the soil here in North America, especially here in Amish country where all the good stuff in the soil wreaks havoc on the other stuff you put in the soil. So the green wire, that there you definitely want to stay away from. There were issues with it. There was the thin green wire and then there was the heavy duty green wire. Both of them had some issues. Um, we replaced a lot of the green wire over the years. At the same time, we also have a couple installations where there's green wire in the ground and it's going on, you know, four or five years, no issues. So it really just depends on the soil, the area that it's in and the environment, you know, and what it's put through. But if, like I say, if somebody has green wire and they're trying to sell it to you, it's been discontinued, just stay away from that. So what are your options? since the green wire is out of the equation. Well, we'll start with the thin black wire. This is Husqvarna's UV wire, and this is made to uh, withstand being above the ground, stapled down, and not break up. The insulation won't break up and crack and get all brittle in the sunlight. The old green wire, that was a big issue for it. It would turn kind of blue and then just start to break apart. And that's where you get a lot of the moisture getting inside the insulation, you get that corrosion. This UV wire is a pretty good wire. Uh, we've installed quite a bit of it. You know, it came with the 115Hs. It came with some of the 300 series mowers. This is what comes in the Husqvarna install kits. Again, it's a good, good solid wire. Uh, not solid um, as in the, uh, the wire itself, but I'm saying good, you know, solid insulation. You know, it's not going to just stretch and give real easily. Uh, it, is, it is a stranded wire. All of these are. But this is one, like I said, it comes with the, uh, the DIY kits that you get uh, with some of the mowers and the installation kits. This is what you'll get. Good option. Then we have the black heavy duty wire. This has a heftier, beefier insulation on it. This is a good, strong wire. This is what we use basically in all of our installations. Um, we've had no, no issues with this stuff. It's, it's held up very, very well. Uh, we've been using this for, uh, what's it going on, three years now. I think this is the third season we're using it. So we have no complaints of this. It's held up well. Um, yeah, this, this is what we would prefer. If, 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 you know, if you're going to put down some wire for an installation, if you say, what's the best wire to use, we're going to tell you this every time. And the big difference between this wire and this wire that will tell you, hey, I'm getting heavy duty wire, or I'm getting UV wire, if a dealer tries to sell it to you, this heavy duty wire only comes in 500 meter spools. What's a 500 meter spool? That is this big boy right here. This is a 500 meter spool of the black heavy duty wire. It only comes in this size spool. So if the dealer comes out and says, yep, we got the black wire, here you go, and it's a spool like this, that's UV wire. Don't fall for that one. Um, and again, heavy duty wire, that's the one that we definitely recommend. Now, so a lot of people will say, well, wait a minute, Husqvarna's got that other wire, their pro wire, you know, that's the good stuff. Look how thick that is. Look how heavy duty that is compared to what you're talking about here with this black heavy duty wire. That's a big difference, right? You know, that insulation, look at that, you know, this orange wire is so much thicker. Looks are deceiving. As you can see down here where this stretched out on me and and pulled this actually is a second layer of insulation on the wire and let me pull this out of here you can see the wire coming out here try to grab it for you real quick bear with me there we go so you have you have the, the regular wire you have the wire inside there, and then you have this extra layer of orange insulation over it. 
And what this orange insulation is, is this is, um, this is a non-soy based insulation. So really the whole purpose for this is if you've got a property where you have a lot of critters, you know, groundhogs, uh, squirrels, deer, whatever, that tend to eat through your wire, then this is what you'd want to use because it covers up the regular insulation and doesn't attract those critters as easily as some of the other types of wire that use a soy based insulation on them. So everybody gets deceived by this by thinking that this is a big heavy duty wire. As you can see, it's not. It's actually this, <laughs> basically this UV wire inside there. When you match that up, they're the same size, uh, same diameter, you know, same insulation on them and everything, just inside of a heavy duty insulation. You think, well, okay, it's got double insulation. It's just not gonna break that easy. This was actually on a roll that we were, in, we were installing. And you see how it's stretched out here? You know what that means? That means this black wire broke inside the insulation and the insulation just kept on pulling and stretching. The wire's back here and I think there's, yeah, there's no wire out there. This whole section from here, from here out to the end, there's no wire in there. So if you think you have a problem when you're going out to find a break and a wire underground and you can't find it when it's just you're looking for you're looking for a wire and another wire and there's a gap in between them or the ends are just aren't connected anymore right imagine trying to find a break when you see solid insulation and you don't see the break that is going to be a nightmare uh that is that's just something i don't want to deal with and being that it's uh, you know a thinner wire inside, it's technically not as heavy as the black HD wire. That is why we always recommend this over this. The other thing is this wire here, it only comes in 300 meter spools. The 300 meter spool of this orange wire, orange coated wire, costs as much as the 500 meter spool of the black heavy duty wire. So not only is the black heavy duty wire a better wire in my opinion but it's also cheaper compared to this now again as I said this does have a purpose so if you need to use it it is available it is a specialty thing I would keep it as that I wouldn't use it if I didn't have to I would go with this if you're doing the installation yourself and you're you're stapling down the wire honestly I have not seen any of this black HD wire um, break and crack apart out in the Sun this is that this wire here, the UV wire, that's what it's made for. So if you're doing an installation yourself and you're stapling the wire down, I would feel confident saying you could use either one of these. Now, obviously, if you're buying the install kit to get the staples and everything all in one package, then it's going to come with this and you don't have to worry. It's made to be uh, above ground. You could also bury this. If you buy if you buy a 115H or you buy, you know, another motor that comes with the installation supplies, or even if you want to buy an installation kit of your own and then bury this wire, you can. Just because it's UV wire and it's made to be, uh, made to withstand the sunlight beating down on it doesn't mean that it can't be put underground. You know, that's how we've done all of ours uh, that we installed with the exception of like one or two, you know, um, 115Hs that came with the wire and the staples that customers wanted us to install them and they preferred to have it buried. We stuck this right on the machine and we buried it. It's held up really well. So that's that's what we got going on here with the wire. And those are the different types of wire from Husqvarna. This is, again is our recommendation. And I want to point that out because we get a lot of people saying, what do you recommend for wire? Well, this is what we recommend. Well, what about this stuff I found on Amazon? Well, what about this stuff for a dog fence? No. I, I don't recommend that. I recommend this because this is what's made to work with it. And people will say, oh, well, you're just saying that because you're a Husqvarna dealer. You have to say that. No, I don't. I, I'm saying that based on experience. I'm saying that based on the fact that with your mower, there's also a two-year warranty on the installation if you use Husqvarna brand wire. Now, that warranty, uh, that warranty covers you know, casting flaws, manufacturers, defects, and things like that, uh, you know, blemishes. It does not cover this wire being installed in the ground and you driving a dump truck over it or you jamming a shovel down through it or uh, you hiring a landscaper to come out and aerate and then poking holes all through it, making this thing just 
like a chopped up piece of spaghetti, uh, that is not covered under warranty. That is, that's on you. But if it was like this old green wire and that's in the ground for six months and all of a sudden you just slowly lose signal quality because there's corrosion forming inside of this insulation, you know, you didn't cut it, you didn't nick it, you didn't do anything to it, it's got that flaw on its own free will, then yeah, that's going to be covered under warranty. And they will, if you call Husqvarna, they will work with you on that to get that replaced because it's under warranty. Now, that warranty goes along with the mower. So you can't go out there and say, well, I've had this mower for three years, that green wire in there, um, the warranty's expired. I'm going to call up a dealer, get them to install some new black wire. And then, you know, a year later, you think you have a problem with this black wire. That's not going to be covered under warranty because it's only with that purchase of the mower. Uh, you know, so it would be within the first two years that you own that mower and that first installation. So, again, if you use this black wire and for some reason you have a problem with it and it breaks on its own free will or it corrodes or uh, has some kind of a defect then you can call your dealer, call Husqvarna, and say, hey, I've got an issue here that I believe should be covered under warranty. You know, this, this here, like I said, if you drive a truck over this, or you do something that causes this to snap and break like that, it's not warranty. Uh, if the guy installing it does something like that, you know, it's not warranty. So that's, that's what you got to pay attention to. I mean, Warranty is not an insurance policy. It's not like car insurance where you can go out there and you hit a telephone pole and they're going to cover it. No. Uh, warranty is completely different. So that being said, uh, we get back to the other types of wire. The other thing that we run into is people saying, that wire from Husqvarna, you're saying to use this HD wire, and that's just too expensive. 200 bucks for a roll of that, which is what it currently is. Here we're at the beginning of June 2022. 199.99 on roboticmowerservices.com, 500 meter spool of the heavy duty wire made to go with the automowers and will get you that two year warranty on your boundary wire uh, when you install it with a new mower, 200 bucks. We do add shipping to that, but people are saying this is too expensive. And I just ran into this the other day. Uh, a guy said, hey, you know, that wire from Husqvarna is just too expensive. How about this? And he sent me this link uh, from Amazon, from some wire. And this is not the first time that I saw this. I was just happy that somebody sent me the picture of it again because I couldn't remember what it was. But you can see they're charging $200 for that spool of wire, right? And it, it looks like a great deal because this is 500 meters. This is 500. Now that wire, it's 199 for 1,000 feet. So 1,000 is bigger than 500, right? No. 500 meters is actually over 1,600 feet. So for $200, you're getting 1,600 feet of wire compared to uh, $200 for 1,000 feet of wire that doesn't get you anything with warranty. Uh, you know, so, I mean, think about it. This is 1,600 feet. That other stuff is 1,000 feet. They're the same price. So that means to even get 1,500 feet, of the other wire on Amazon, you know, that'd be $300. You would still get more with this. And even when we add the shipping to this to get it out to you, it's still going to cost way less than that wire on Amazon. So this is, this is a great deal all around. You're going to get the warranty coverage. You're going to get a good heavy duty wire. That's going to hold up to just about anything uh, in regards to what it's supposed to do, which is carry a signal for a mower, notwithstand, uh, you know, a, a dump truck and a, uh, you know, a, a bulldozer and everything else driving over it. Uh, it's not made to withstand aerating your lawn and poking holes through it or anything like that. So again, just more reasons why we recommend this black HD wire from Husqvarna, you know, just all around it's, it's the way to go. You know, it checks all the boxes that, that you can, uh, that you can come up with. Uh, it's available. It's, <laughs> it's a good cost. It's going to hold up. Uh, you know, what else could you want from your wire? That's really it. So just to get back through all this again, we got the, the black UV wire. That's the thin wire, black UV wire. 
black HD wire, which is heavier duty. It's got a heavier insulation on it than the UV wire. You can definitely tell them apart when you put them together. And again, the HD wire only comes on these big spools. The UV wire comes on the small spools. Then you've got the orange pro wire, which is really thin wire with a second layer of insulation on it that's made to help keep the uh, the critters away from eating your wire. And the reason why we don't strongly recommend it, like the Black HD wire, is the fact that the actual wire inside the orange insulation can break and make it a nightmare to find the break or a partial break or anything like that. It's also tough to um, put this together, you know, where you bring your guide wire in or your um, you're, you're splicing this together if you have to attach another roll to it because you got that extra layer on there, you know? So it's it's really tough to get a good seal around that because you want to seal up this too. You don't want to have moisture getting down inside between this layer of insulation and this layer of insulation or anything like that. So it makes this a little bit trickier to work with. You really have to know what you're doing and you really have to have a reason to use this. Just because it's orange and just because it looks heftier is not a good reason Neither of those are good reasons to use this wire. Um, the reason why we used it was actually because we were using it on a commercial site where a uh, landscaper kept chopping through the wires at a sidewalk because they claimed they couldn't see them and because there was already green wire, there was already black wire down there, and we went with orange so everybody could see it now. That was the only way we did it, or the only reason why we did it. Again, this is on a commercial site though. They're not going to be driving vehicles through the yard. They're not going to be having people come in there with skid loaders and bulldozers and backhoes and everything else. Do have an issue every now and then with reminding them that they can't aerate the, uh, the lawn where this wire is at, but that's another story. Um, so we were good with using this wire. Uh, you know, it's it's rare that we use it, but again, it does serve a purpose. It has its it has its place. So it is out there for anybody that needs it for those types of situations. So hopefully that gives you guys all something to think about when you go to have your mower installed or you're going to install your mower. Um, doesn't matter if the dealer's installing it or not. If they're not using Husqvarna wire, you're not gonna get that two year warranty on your, your installation. You know, if the dealer comes out and says, hey, we're gonna use this brand of wire that I bought off of Amazon or I bought from some other person, uh, you know, aftermarket, because I think it's better Okay, well then, make sure before he puts that wire in the ground that you know how you're going to get any coverage if there is an issue through warranty because that's not Husqvarna, it's not their wire, the warranty wouldn't be through them. Um, so, all stuff to think about, all stuff to ask your, your dealer when you go to buy the mower, when you go to buy your wire, when you go to have your mower installed, or whether you're installing yourself, all stuff to consider and, and think about so that way you have the best experience possible with your mower over the long haul. That is going to do it for this video here about wire. If you need wire, or you need parts, or you need accessories for your automower, or you want to buy an automower, same as always, the place to go, www.roboticmowerservices.com. Check out our website. If you don't see what you're looking for on our website, send us an email to roboticmowerservices at gmail.com, and we will see what we can do. Uh, our website is still still growing. Uh, it's been extremely busy. We can't be happier about that. So there is a lot of stuff that we need to get up on the website. We just haven't had a chance because we're shorthanded. We're swamped with work, and we are very grateful for it. So bear with us. Again, if you can't find what you're looking for on the website, send us an email, and we'll try to get you hooked up and taken care of. That's going to do it for this video. As always, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.